In this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features that will be available in Procreate 4. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch illustrator and animator, and there's some great news. Procreate, my favorite drawing app, is coming with a new version, and that's going to be Procreate 4, and it's going to be available in the fall of 2017. So here I have, because uh, they just posted something on their website of what is coming. So Procreate 4 will be powered by Metal, and that's a new kind of way of uh, the graphic chipset that's being used. I'm not too technical about that, but it allows them to do even more greater things with the app. What I'm very excited about is the smudge tool, because I never really used the smudge tool, because I didn't feel that it was working properly. But now uh, it seems that they're, you know, really putting a lot of effort into uh, the blend mode because the the image that I see now is that you you know really can blend your color so now you can maybe use procreate for uh, for real painting and just mixing your paints on the canvas and you can do that by uh, just using the smudge tool then there's something I'm, I'm really excited about and that's uh, wet painting and they showed some samples and because I think you now can really apply watercolor because it has a lot more dilution to it and it seems like there um, will be having some new brushes or a new brush set for uh, watercolors because they really mix well and they just re react like like watercolors would do so there's a lot of dilution in um, in these kind of uh, brushes. I'm not quite sure if I would like this because you know when you work with an app they have a, a redefined interface and it will look a little bit different. So what you can see is you have uh, three different kinds of options. So there's now the, the brush rendering on top. So you have normal, glazed and wet mix and maybe that will apply to all brushes in, in, in Procreate that uh, it will have uh, a wet mix to it as well. And there's a new uh, gallery. And I'm not quite sure what's new about it. Just have to find out. Now you can effortlessly manage thousands of artworks with all the power of iOS 11. Drag and drop to quickly transfer files, use text to keep things organized and easily share to any location with the new files app. So this is uh, probably uh, when you're using iOS 11. Uh, what I've read about it uh, is that you now can use Dropbox and a lot of other files and there, it, it looks a little bit more like a desktop app or a, a desktop device and that you now have control over um, the files and there's more of a file management system on your iPad Pro which is great and I think uh, you now can use this with uh, the gallery as well so you can drop in some things from uh, the file system that will be available on iOS 11. Oh wow and there's uh, layer masks now so you can now use layer masks and layer masks let you choose which parts of a layer to show without losing any of the original content. You can alter the mask in powerful ways by painting, erasing, transforming or even smudging it. So uh, this is the, a, a big uh, thing, you know, when you're painting, especially digital paint, use of, of masks is great. And now they, you know, seem to um, have added that to Procreate 4. And this is what I uh, bought the uh, iPad Pro 2017 for. That's the, the wider color range. and. Procreate 4 will uh, support that and that's P3. That's a new color gamut so you have much uh, richer red and green colors. And you cannot see it on this uh, thing yet because I'm not running iOS 11 yet. And there's drag and drop, move images, brushes and palettes in and out of Procreate fast and 
ever with iOS 11. Oh yeah, this is going to be the new uh, file system. So you can, you know, do a split screen. Well, it's not actually a, a split screen, but you can just drop it in. Uh, so you can open up the, the file system and then drop in uh, the brushes into Procreate, which is great. So then, then you don't have to go through Dropbox and, and other uh, cloud services. And now you just have it uh, on your iPad and you know you know what you're dragging into Procreate. And I think you can do uh, multiple files at the same time, which is great. So I'm really looking forward to uh, Procreate 4. It has been uh, one of my favorite drawing apps uh, or well, I see it more as a painting app. And it's great that the, the guys at Savage Interactive are doing these uh, great updates. I will leave a link to this page because they left it on uh, their website. And you can also follow them on Instagram because they have Instagram stories and sometimes they just show uh, some new things that they're working on for uh, Procreate 4. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because then each time I upload a new video, you will see that I uploaded a new video. Then you get a, a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.